Just for an overview, what do we uh, got going on today? Uh, we're doing a homeless count. It's a way uh, throughout the, the state for us to assess, uh, you know, the extent of the homeless problem in, in, our, in our state and in our community. So uh, the county has a variety of teams that do this each year and I'm happy to participate. Yeah, what about um, urban homelessness and places like Brentwood and Oakley that experience homeless that people wouldn't really necessarily think about? I think that's part of what we're trying to do is to, that they're in all of our communities. And we need to, that they're real people with real stories. And uh, yes, it's a number for today that we're adding up, but uh, the heart of it is trying to connect with people who are struggling, try to find out what their circumstances are so we can help them. And they're in all of our communities. Oakley, Brentwood, Concord, La Mirinda, they're throughout our communities. And they're hidden away, um, but they're not out of sight for, the, for what we need to do as a compassionate community to help people in need. What's the biggest thing that you've probably learned in doing this count um, over the years that you maybe not have known about ahead of, you know, before you started doing it? I think the biggest takeaway for me is the personal stories. There's a stereotype about the homeless. Somehow they're from uh, far away and they just ended up here. And I think that what I have learned um, is that there are personal stories behind each circumstance. And there are neighbors who have run into difficulties, a divorce, a health problem, uh, the, the rent got raised too quickly, and they're out on the street. And they have names, and they have roots here in our communities, and they're struggling. And getting to meet them and to hear their stories has been the most powerful part of that count.